For the last three months, I have been working on the app and website because you guys wanted to see exactly how much money you can make doing it. So I was intentionally just going to do this from the start just for a day or two and see how much we could make similar to the previous videos we did on this channel where we looked at surveys and other ways of making money. But it became clear app and takes a little bit longer than expected. But let's get into it. First of all, what is app and? So app and offers three separate tiers to their website. You can either do the projects, the micro tasks or the surveys and data collection. Now we've already done the surveys and data collection video on this channel where we use prolific which i'd always recommend above all else i wasn't going to do micro tasks because that sounds like it's going to be similar to click worker which is another video we've got coming up soon so already i've given you guys multiple reasons to hit that subscribe button down below and if you've already hit it please be sure to hit the like button too because it makes such a difference getting these videos out there which means more people coming in more people giving recommendations and more videos what you guys want to see. Final category that you've got with Appen is the projects category. Now this is what we've been using for the past three months. It's very easy to apply for. You just literally need to hit that apply button, make an account and get on to the platform. Now once you're on the platform, you're going to get bombarded with invites for projects. The way you can find these is you go over to all projects along the top, go over to suggested and then you have a huge list here. You can sort by how much they pay per hour if you want to, and you can see what every job entails. Now, once you get accepted to a job, you'll realize what company you'll be working for, and there will be NDAs involved. So I cannot talk about anything that we do in terms of the companies we work for, but I can disclose what we kind of do as a general task for most of these projects. So you can see the name, normally given a code name. You can see there's quite a few jobs here. So for example, if I wanted to go for this one, it's a video data collection help train for artificial and algorithms. So you can see here the list of things they expect you to do and to have. If you fit all them requirements, you simply go over to the apply section, hit apply and you'll get an email in a few days whether or not you need to do the qualification phase or whether you just get accepted straight away on to the project. And as you can see, there is a lot of projects to apply for. Once you've applied, it will move out of this section and go to the applied section. And then once you get accepted, it will go into the My Projects. You can see up at the top, I've got 37 active projects. Now this isn't 37 projects I'm working on. Some projects take a lot of time. Some of them are 10 to 15 hours a week worth of commitment. Some are just a 10, 15 minute survey each week that you get paid quite well for. So do not worry about applying for too many things. Apply for every single one you're eligible to apply for. And then if you don't want to work them, you can just get out of them once you've been accepted. But honestly, the acceptance rates are quite low. So I'd apply for as many as you possibly can just to be sure. So I've been doing this for three months now. You might be wondering how many projects have I actually worked on? Well, there's been about three or four that have been rolling each week. So I've just been doing a 10 to 30 minute task for each of them once or twice a week so that's not been too time consuming at all and it's been fairly reliable since then i've also had one big project where i've been accepted where it was a good hour and a half bit of work where i just had to do some voice recordings for them that was also well paid but it was also only just a one-off despite the fact that i could get friends and family to do it as well and get extra money but just for me doing it it was just a one one and a half hour session and that was it done and then more recently in the past few weeks I have been accepted for a 10 to 20 hour project that I've just been working on for the past few days, but now it has been limited with data, so they don't need me anymore, but they will be coming back soon in the next few days or few weeks with more items for me to do. So the question you guys all want to know, how much money do we actually make doing Appen? So let's get into it. So first of all, getting paid through Appen is fairly simple. Most of the projects will either auto generate an invoice for you or they will get you to record how many hours you've worked at the end of each day so it's fairly simple you just keep track of how much work you've done and record it yourself in their invoice feature which is very easy to use then the next step is at the end of the month you submit that invoice for approval if everything's been auto generated it gets accepted straight away because you didn't actually decide anything it was just automatically put there but if you've done some of your own invoices in there, it may take a few days to get accepted. Once accepted and it hits the 14th of the month, you will get paid through Payoneer or some other services. But I think it is mainly Payoneer that Appen uses. 
and then it's simply a case of withdrawing that money into your bank account i think there's a like a three dollar fee for your transactions so it's not huge you will have earned that much through Appen within a month so don't worry about the three dollars you're still going to be making a decent amount so my first month working for Appen, we actually made 46 pounds and 60 pence obviously it looks a bit more if we use dollars but 46 pound and 60 pence for the first month the second month we made 63 pounds 65 pence and then so far this month even though we're only at the 15th i've made 39 pounds 42 pence and that is obviously because we've had that full-time kind of opportunity come up where i've worked a few hours with them but the big question as well how much time did i spend working with app and so i spent a total of 104 minutes which is 13.4 hours which equates to being 11 pound an hour so it's not awful definitely not awful at all but there are some drawbacks to working for app and so obviously you've seen the advantages it's easy the jobs you do although i can't disclose what exactly they do but they are very simple if anything they become a bit repetitive but they are really simple really easy well paid and easy to get accepted to but and there is a big but here you have to do your own tax returns if you make enough through this to need to pay taxes then you're going to have to do your own tax return so that is going to be a bit of a pain if you get that far down the line but obviously it's going to not be a great experience another thing is there is about a hundred projects i've applied to with these three months i've only just got accepted to one of the major projects it takes time to get accepted on app and don't just give up after a day if you're a student or you just want something to supplement your income app and will be good for you just don't expect the opportunities to come flying early on you'll be able to get a few little jobs a few extra pounds a month but don't expect to be making a full-time income on app and straight away maybe in two three months you might be able to but it's not a reliable source of income it's a nice way to get some extra money but it's not going to fill up your bank account each month. So the long-term project that I've been doing at Appen, obviously I can't disclose what we actually do on it, but it's a little bit of a pain, and I'm going to tell you that why now, because you get paid based on the amount of tasks you complete. So you have to complete 30 tasks an hour minimum to get your invoice accepted. So if you spend two hours doing the work and you're just slow, you're not going to get paid for a penny of that. Also, they expect you to be on their platform for 15 to 20 hours a week which is fairly easy you just have the program open but the issue i've had is there isn't always work to do so for example on friday last week i sat there for seven and a half hours logged into this program and i got eight jobs which is roughly enough for me to have invoiced 20 minutes of work seven hours of me sat at my computer with their program open constantly because you need to be active on it every five minutes by clicking on it. And I got paid for 20 minutes of work. It's not ideal. But at the end of the day, if you're sat at your desk doing uni work or doing football trading, for example, you can have this open on a second monitor and just be waiting for work to come through. This is obviously only one of the projects on the website. As you saw from the start, there are hundreds of projects that get made available every week. So this is only the one I've had experience with. All the other projects have been really easy and simple and get paid without a problem. So to conclude with this, would I recommend you use Appen? Yeah, I would. But only do the jobs that are worthwhile. For example, this job I've been doing, I've been doing it for three, four days. I don't think it's very good. I'm going to give it another week. And if I don't enjoy it, I'm going to cut it and just apply for some more projects. Apply for the ones you think you'll enjoy. Apply for the ones that don't take much time. And you won't have an issue with it but the more work you do the more tax returns you're going to have to do as well but that is it we made a decent bit of money from it it's a guaranteed income there's no gambling involved with it but it is a bit more of a pain as you'd expect but i would still recommend you use it obviously if i'm being fully honest i'd be more likely to recommend user testing prolific they take less time give out more money and you know how much you're going to earn from the start. So I would definitely recommend them over the top of Appen. But if you can get Appen and get a good 20-hour job a week that you enjoy, then it could potentially change your income forever. 
But honestly, that seems to be like finding the diamond in the rough with Appen. But let me know your experiences down below. Let me know if you've got any video requests down below as well, and I'll get working on them. Thank you for watching. It's been a long three months, but it was definitely worth it. So thank you for watching yet again. I'll see you guys in the next video.